Now, in this very brief lecture, and uh, in this lecture, I am going to discuss the optical theorem in the quantum mechanics, and it's a very uh, important uh, theorem in quantum mechanics, and it was asked in uh, so many exams. So let me state it first of all, the relation between the relation between total cross section and imaginary part of forward scattering amplitude amplitude is known as optical theorem and let me define it mathematically Mathematically, this sigma is the total cross section. It is 4 pi over k, imaginary part of f of 0. And when theta will become 0, then I can call it as forward scattering amplitude to corresponding to this 0, right? So let me recall the results of a shift. So as we know that the proof of this let me recall very important formula that f of theta is equal to 1 by k summation l varies from 0 to infinity. It is 2l plus 1 and e raised to per iota delta l sine delta l and pl cos of theta. And Sigma, I know that it is 4 pi over k square as we have derived these two things in the early lectures. It is sine square delta L. So, for forward scattering, scattering that theta will be equal to 0. So, if I put theta is equal to 0 in this part, then f of 0 will be equal to 1 by k summation l varies from 0 to infinity. It's 2l plus 1. It is e raised to per iota delta l and uh, sine delta l and pl cos of 0. And this value is always unity. It's a standard result. Then it is equal to 1 by k summation l varies from 0 to infinity it is 2l plus 1 let me write down this first of all it is sine delta l then let me open it e raised to per iota delta l it is cos delta l plus iota sine delta l so i will express it in this way and uh, let me simplify it again. So it is 1 by k summation L values from 0 to infinity. It is 2L plus 1. And it is sine delta L and multiplied with it to cos of delta L plus iota 1 by k summation L varies from 0 to infinity. It is 2L plus 1. It is sine square delta L. Now, this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So, that means imaginary part of f of 0 is equal to 1 by k 2L plus 1 sine square delta L and summation L varies from 0 to infinity. So, let me recall another result that is... Uh, Sigma as I've defined 4 pi over k square summation L varies from 0 to infinity to L plus 1 and it is sine square delta L. So if I recall this result, 
so this is along with k or i can write down it as 4 pi over k into 1 by k l is equal to 0 to infinity so 2l plus 1 and it is sin square delta l then this part is basically imaginary part of this one so if i put this value here then the final result which i am getting that is the optical theorem that is sigma is equal to 4 pi over k and imaginary part of f of zero right so this is the derivation of the optical theorem so hence the result so that's all for today's lecture thanks for watching this video